Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve Sudoku Extended Unique Rectangles Type 1, also known as an EUR. I'll tell you what it is, when you can apply it, and how to solve cells and make eliminations with an EUR Type 1. I cover the basics in the first example, but the second example and puzzle adds the extra clarity you need to be able to spot these in every classic Sudoku where they could appear. Click below for puzzle links, and with that, it's solving time okay for our first example this is from sudoku wiki it's the first example in that page i got a link below and what you want to notice is these blue cells here you kind of notice going down column one in the blue cells you have one five six one three five one three five and then in column three you have a one five one three five and a one three five this cell right here and we'll mark that in orange has that extra digit that six if you remove the six from this cell, you'd end up with two naked triples, right? Two, one, three, five naked triples. And so now we're going to get into a definition here. Because this creates your extended unique rectangle. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe and click on the bell for notifications if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. All right, here's the definition. An extended unique rectangle is a unique rectangle with a structure larger than the simple two by two. So you have to be familiar with how unique rectangle type ones act. You know, they're in two rows, two columns, and in two blocks. Here's the tutorial to learn more about that. This takes it one step further. In this case, we have a two by three. You'll notice we have two columns three rows exactly three rows and three blocks okay it's very important that you have that condition that is in these extended unique rectangles it has to be in the same three by three block this is called a tower these have to be in the same rows and then you have to have two columns you could do a three by three and i'll show you where these extra digits are but this extended unique rectangle i'm showing you is the most popular kind the other conditions you must have. One, the puzzle must have a unique solution in order to use a strategy. You have to know the puzzle has a unique solution or it doesn't work because you're trying to eliminate candidates and solve cells knowing that the puzzle has a unique solution. And the other piece is that the three candidates involved in the three cells must form a naked triple. In this case, a one, three, five naked triple. So what is wrong? with there being no six here, right? You gotta think, what would happen? Well, what we need to know is that in this one, three, five, these would be a naked triple in column one, this would be a naked triple in column three. The threes up here, the one and the five have to be somewhere in the column. They can't both be up here. You can't have a one up here. I think it's pretty obvious. You put a one right there, then you have two places, but the five, that's not gonna work. You put the five right there, one, it doesn't match, but two, you have two places to put the one. So you know that doesn't work either. So we know they can't be in the same block. So a one or a five could be here. The other one's got to be there, right? And we only have room to fit one more. So just for clarity, and this will kind of help you understand the situation a little bit better, is you do need to know that a one, a five, in there it could be a five and this could be one the one could be in any of these three cells i'm putting it in here to help you show visually what's going to happen without the six being right here you know we don't know if that's a one or five but if you put that as a one i'd make this a five and then this one five and make this a three we make this a one we make this a three and we make this a five no big deal unless you go back and go well what if this wasn't a one if that's a five well, that's a one, that's a three, that's a five, that's a three, that's a one. And so with these digits in the same spot, you could have two different solutions. The five, three, one, and the one, three, five can be in two different ways, and it would still satisfy the puzzle. And you're like, okay, maybe it's because you put the one there and the five in the other spot, and it doesn't matter. You can put the one right here, and you can put the five right there. You can take the five, and put it right here and you work through these numbers and you're going to see right here if we make this a one 
that has to be a three that's got to be a one this has to be the five that's got to be the three that's got to be the five if you go back make that a five one three one three five you see how it does not matter you end up with two solutions they, these could fit in two different ways in the blue cells and it allow our puzzle to be solved so that's called well it's a deadly rectangle and it's a deadly situation because you can't have that in the puzzle so what we do is we got to find the one cell that breaks up this strategy and so for a type one you're just going to have an additional digit in one cell well you're going to have additional digits but they're only going to be the one cell of the extended unique rectangle the other thing i want to be clear is is that you have to have these pairs in three separate blocks okay you can't have uh you can't have you know two of these pairs up here because it won't, the digits won't fit and also you can't have this column couldn't be over here in column five right so that'd be six different blocks it's got to be three blocks three rows and the two columns and so what we do is we're able to remove the one and the five from right here and we can solve this cell for a six if there's another digit there you could reduce it to whatever the other digits or candidates were but then with that six you can solve this fell for a six and it's pretty smooth sailing to get the rest of the puzzle from here i use unique rectangles and other advanced strategies in my members only reward puzzle packs click on the pin comment below to join the smarty party and get these packs plus other exclusive content you're investing in the future of this channel if you become a super smarty 25 dollars a month i'll put your name in every video now let's move on to our second example okay our second example is from sudoku wiki as well and we're going to see the extended unique rectangle just a little bit different here in column two let's check it out we got a two four five six seven nine we need a one three and an eight you already have an eight in that row and then if you come over here you just need a three and a seven to complete column six and then you need a three seven eight here in block excuse me column seven all right we already have an eight down there now we want to focus on these six squares okay you might notice there's two ones here which are a little bit extra but if you look right here you have this one coming down this one cutting across we have a pointing pair of ones in block five so we know this cell can't be a one and so now we have a horizontal version of your extended unique rectangle right we have two rows exactly three columns and exactly three blocks okay we got three digits that form a naked triple the three seven and eight and then we have one cell that has an additional digit or additional digits right here and we'll put that one in orange okay and so if we took what would happen if you took out the one right here we also know that this puzzle has a unique solution so if you took out the one right there one thing to keep in mind is where could the seven be right it can't be up in these cells a seven actually would have to be in one of these cells down here because this then would be a naked triple of sevens this would be a naked triple so there'd be a seven already in row four within the blue cells and a seven in row five in the blue cells so seven happy down here the eight's already down there you got the three seven and so then the threes would be limited to right here you know this would you basically would create a claiming pair of threes because the threes have to be in one of these spots and one of these spots you could remove the threes from there if there was no one right there all right hopefully that makes sense and so if you look here you go okay what is the deal right you know the seven's down here in one spot eight's in one spot three's down there so that's just another naked triple right you put the three there that's an eight that's a seven that's a three that is an eight and that is a seven okay if you come back and if you put the eight right here then that's a three there's your three there's your seven 
there is your seven and there's your eight. Okay, so we get, we would have two possible solutions, right? Because everything else is filled out and the threes, sevens, and eights go in two different ways. We can't have that happen. So we know something's got to break up this these two naked triples and create a unique solution. So then what we can do is we can remove the three and the eight from right there. Curiously, if you look at this situation, there is another bypass other than extended unique rectangle and involves a finned swordfish. If you can find the finned swordfish, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which digit it is. But I wanted to show you the extended unique rectangle. This is a very cool way to solve the rest of this puzzle. Because what you end up with right here is a one. And now we can start making more solves. You know, we can put the three here, we can put the eight there, and you're going to be able to make many more solves in the puzzle. Check out this playlist. I bet there's at least one strategy on it that would be new to you. Thank you so much for watching.